The humanities are the entire reason that I have this place in the world. Just down the street from here is the Riverside Public Library, which was a beautiful Carnegie building. And my mom, as an immigrant from Switzerland, was convinced that no one would let me enter kindergarten unless I already knew how to read. That's one of her legends about reading. She taught me to read in one weekend when I was three years old. And apparently, I went to the library every week after that and requested 21 books. That was my limit. I had four younger siblings, and apparently I used to coerce them into letting me have their 10 book limits so that I could have 50 books a week until my mom busted me. I teach a really big class, which is one of the most popular now at UC Riverside. It's got 300 students, and it's a class I developed called the Mixed Race Novel and the American Experience. It was because I wanted to have a humanities class, a general elective, that students from all disciplines could take. So on the first day, facing these 300 students, I'm looking out and I ask how many people are pre-law, and people raise their hands, and I ask how many people are pre-med, and because we have a new medical school, a lot of students are pre-med. We start with the lawyers. If lawyers can't tell good stories in front of a jury, they're gonna last about five days in their profession. The pre-med students always give me this look, and I say, if you can't tell your patient who has stage four cancer, the story of how you two together are maybe gonna talk about her life history and how you're going to solve this problem, then you won't be able to succeed as well. The business people are always the most cynical. And then we all look at them and say, if you can't tell the story of your new app, I'm not sure how you're gonna sell it.